Hey, what's up? It's Emily, your favorite recruiter by day, podcast host by night, and then career coach on the weekends. I need to come up with a new intro because I changed my YouTube channel name from the straight shooter recruiter just to my name, primarily because I want to branch out on my content a little bit. Obviously, I'm going to primarily be posting like careers related content, but I also think it's kind of fun to throw in some like lifestyle, work from home hacks. And I don't feel like everything I create on this channel is necessarily going to go on my podcast. Um, But speaking of my podcast, go like and subscribe to the Straight Shooter Recruiter podcast. It's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that good stuff. Um, And of course, head over to my Instagram and TikTok at Emily the Recruiter. But today I'm serving you Trisha Paytas realness. I am sitting on the floor. (laughs) I'm sorry. I cannot find a good spot in my apartment to record anymore. Um, My entire apartment is puppy proofed. Like you could probably see I have like gates over here. Everything is displaced because of my puppy and I really just, I can't find a good spot. So this is what's happening. But today we are going to be talking about a question I get pretty often. It's going to be short and sweet. Let's get into it. I get so many people, why am I still holding this girl? Are you okay? Anyways, I get so many people in my DMs asking me, Emily, I just signed a job offer. I start my new job on Monday. And now that I've done some more research, I really regret accepting this job offer. They're not paying me enough. Is it too late for me to negotiate my salary? And these are the questions that make me so stressed out for you. Not because it's impossible to navigate, because I've been there too, where you think you do all of the research, you feel really good about your decision, and then you find out a new piece of information, or you speak to someone who's getting paid twice what you're making and you're like oh my gosh did I really just sign this offer here's what I'll say to be completely honest with you from a recruitment perspective all of your negotiation should be done before you sign the offer not even just before your start date but before you sign that offer letter think about it it's a contract that's a legally binding agreement that you've looked at and you've said yeah this works with me us harping on what could have and should have happened doesn't really help us so here's what you should do if you find yourself in this situation first things first reach out to directly to the recruiter or the hiring manager, basically whoever you've worked with the most in this process and ask to set up a chat. Please do not do this over email. There is nothing worse than getting an email that says, hey, could you double my salary? See you Monday when I start. Like that is not a good look. So what you should be doing is reaching out directly to your key partner or the key person that you've worked with at this company and ask for a chat, whether that's over the phone or Zoom, but make sure it's as in-person as it gets. What you're going to do in advance of this conversation conversation is come prepared with your reasoning. What did you find that made you now want to increase your compensation for this role? For example, if you woke up one day and read an article about how there's going to be a surge in hiring at Google and they're going to be paying their engineers a billion dollars and you're getting paid $5,000, you know, that's some data that you can bring to the table. However, if you woke up one day and said, you know, yeah, they're going to pay me $60,000, but I'd feel a lot better about $70,000. That's a lot more challenging for you to negotiate because you're not coming with any facts. Basically, what you should be doing is come prepared with things that have changed since the last time you signed the offer. If you just show up and say, hey, I know I signed that offer, but I feel like getting a little bit more, chances are they're going to say no. So you need to come with some supporting data to back up why you've changed your mind. Great examples of this can be data that you found on websites like Glassdoor or Payscale, upcoming articles, news releases, staying up to date with online influencers about how much they make. All of that great stuff will really help you. So when you meet for this in-person or virtual conversation, start off by being very thankful. You want to make sure that you are communicating very clearly that you are grateful for the opportunity and that you're looking forward to starting there. Emphasize that you're not planning on rescinding or running away from this offer. Unless you are, that's probably another video though. Anyways, emphasize that you really do want to start there, present the data or the things that have changed and say, I know it's a little bit late in the process. I completely understand that this probably should have been tackled earlier, but is there anything that we can do? Leave it at that. Leave it as a question. Leave it as something that the recruiter has to look into and apologize for it being late in the process. Even if you're not sorry, just trust me. You should be saying sorry so they feel like you understand kind of how this is a little bit... I don't want to say inconvenient, but it is late in the process. Like at this point, the recruiter already thinks this role's filled. They don't need to worry about it. And now they've got this like new thing they have to tackle. So make sure that you're just empathetic towards that. And just like any negotiation, you never really know what's going to happen. They might come back and say, oh my gosh, yep, you're so right. So sorry we didn't consider this. Here's the raise that you were looking for. But they also might come back and say, yeah, you signed the offer. 
thanks, but no thanks. At which point you also have two options. Are you willing to continue to work for this company for a little bit? Maybe you stay passively looking, you know, while you start this job, or are you going to say, yeah, that's enough. I'm going to walk away and rescind your offer. If you're looking to negotiate your offer after you've already signed it, make sure you come equipped with data, make sure you're ready to have an in-person conversation and make sure you know what your decision is if they can't give you the comp that you're looking for. You got to be honest with yourself. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any follow-up questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to my Insta, my podcast, my TikTok. I have no other social platforms, so that's really going to have to do. But thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll talk to you soon.